Okay, today we got a fun project here at Small Scale Gardener. We're going to be making some aeroponic buckets for growing tomatoes, peppers, and other tall plants inside our grow tent. We've decided to go with the double bucket solution. The bucket on top will hold the plant and have the aeroponic misters inside, and it will drain into the lower bucket, which will be connected to all the bottom buckets forming a reservoir. The water is going to be applied with these standard irrigation style misters. Using quarter inch line and some 90s or some T pieces, multiple buckets are going to be connected together. In this case, we're going to use the four buckets in a single row. The drain line is just a simple piece of quarter inch irrigation line and the top of the lower bucket has a hole which allows all the water to drain down into the hole. The bottom bucket has an adapter which in this case is a T or a 90 for half inch irrigation tubing. That connects all the lower buckets together forming one large reservoir. It's a very simple build. We're actually able to get all these parts from your local hardware store or just off Amazon. There's nothing special or expensive about these parts which makes it a really fun build. Some of the parts we're going to be using are just standard half inch and quarter inch T pieces. We have a quarter inch manifold here for the top of our riser. For a pump we're just going to be using this small aquarium style pump with a nice uh, 18 inch riser on it. The water nutrient solution will be delivered via quarter inch tubing. We have some standard grommets and washers for sealing around all the connection points. And as for hardware, we're just going to use a cordless drill and this cone bit, which allows us to get different size holes in our buckets as we need them for the different types of fittings. We'll put the links to all the products we're using in this video in the description box below. And while you're down there, smash the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of these great projects we do here at Small Scale Gardener. So the grow bucket, which is the bucket that'll be on top, requires three holes. One in each side for the misters, and one in the bottom to drain into the lower bucket. So we'll go ahead and drill those holes now. I'm going to start by making the hole right in the center of this lip above the handle piece. The bottom of the bucket has this little nub, which I'll cut off using a pair of cutters. That just gives me a nice flat spot to put my drill bit. All of these holes are going to be 3 eighths of an inch. That's the right size for the grommet that's going to hold the quarter inch line. I'm going to be using this graduated cone bit here with the 3 eighths marked out on it. I'll start in the bottom. I'm going to be going slow with the drill so I don't overream the hole. Once I have the hole the right size, I'm just going to spin the drill a little bit to try to clean it up. I'm going to be doing the same thing on either side where I drilled the other two pilot holes. Once the holes are drilled, I'm just going to take my bit and work it from the inside just to cut off any of the little shavings that are left over. It'll just clean out the hole and make it easier to put the grommet inside. And I'll do the same with the bottom. If the hole's drilled and cleaned out, now I can put in my grommets. They're 3 8 inch and they're going to hold the quarter inch line. You can just pop it in and then use your fingernail to make sure that it's re rested nicely on each side. So when you're done, you should have three nice and clean grommeted holes for your irrigation line. Now that we have the holes made, we can go ahead and cut some quarter inch tube and put our misters on. Quarter inch tubing comes in 10, 25, or 50 feet. I'm not going to need that much for this build, but it's nice to have some spare around just in case you get a leak or you want to do another project. When working with this tubing, it's easiest to put your end on and then do the cutting because when you're working with small pieces, it's really hard to get your fittings inside. Using the full piece just helps you grip it while you're putting your fittings in. So I'm going to be using a quarter inch T fitting for this bucket. My supply will come in and then go out to the next bucket. And this part of the T is going to go through the bucket and the mister is going to be connected on the other side. So I'll start by putting this piece just by twisting it and pushing. Should be able to get it nice and snug fit on the quarter inch line. Try to get it as close to the collar as possible to prevent any leaks. I'm just going to be using my side cutters and cutting about an inch. It only has to go inside the bucket about an inch, so that's going to be perfect. Once you have this piece cut, you can just feed it through the grommet like that. Once the T piece in the quarter inch line is on, we can go ahead and add in our mister. 
The mister is threaded at the end, so it just takes a little bit of force and a little bit of twisting to get it in there, but it goes pretty easily. I'm keeping the valve turned to the side and that just gives me a little bit of extra room to put the cover on the bucket. So with that complete, I'm just gonna do the same procedure to make the second sprayer. Put the T-pieces and sprayer in as demonstration. You're probably gonna wanna wait until you get all your buckets put together and then connect all the exterior T-pieces together and slide them all into the bucket and then add your sprayers at the end. The last thing we need is a little bit of quarter inch line for our drain. Next we're going to work on the lower bucket. This requires two holes. One in the top of the bucket for the upper grow bucket to drain into the bottom bucket and a half inch hole near the bottom that's going to have our T-piece or a 90 degree in it that's going to connect all the lower buckets together to generate one big reservoir. So just like we did at the bottom, we'll just clean up this little bump on the top and then we'll go ahead and drill our hole. At the bottom of the bucket, we're going to be installing this T-piece that'll help us connect all the buckets together using half inch line. On the inside of the bucket, we're just gonna use this threaded piece and together they're gonna to mate up with the bucket and some washers that will seal in between. The size of this piece that penetrates the bucket is roughly 13 16 which is the second largest setting on my cone bit. I measured it out and I know that my hole needs to be an inch and a quarter from the bottom of the bucket. So I'm just going to go to the center of my bucket, measure up an inch and a quarter and make a mark using the drill bit. Now that I've made my mark, I can go ahead and drill the hole. So I'll be using my cone reamer bit to make the hole. It goes the second largest for the 13 16 that's going to fit this threaded coupler through. We're going to be using some Teflon plumbing tape to wrap around the threads just to make sure they seal to prevent leaks. You want to wrap the tape the same direction that you're going to screw on the connecting coupler. Two wraps around should be sufficient. Next I'm going to take these pieces of gasket. You can get rubber washers online. I made these using some silicone sheets I had. I'm just going to put them down over top and this will help seal against the edge of the bucket and prevent leaks. Then I'm just going to take my other side. Then I'm just going to put on another piece of gasket and take my T-piece and screw it on over the Teflon tape. That's going to allow me to connect all my lower buckets together and create one big reservoir. It's also going to allow the aeroponic bucket to drain, making sure it's just oxygen and doesn't flood the roots. So when all said and done, we have our lower T-piece. We have our lower bucket lid with the hole in the top. We have our upper bucket with the misters and the drain line in the bottom and we're just going to feed the drain line into the bucket on the bottom. And that's how it's going to work. So now that my buckets are made up and it's all cleaned out, I got the grommets back in and I'm going to go ahead and put in my feed line. These little nipples here are going to go through the bucket and connect to the misters. So I'm just going to use a little bit of water on my fingers here just to give it a little lube to get through the grommets. And I'm going to do the same on the other side with the other piece. So now I can go ahead and put my sprayers back in. With the upper feed lines connected, now I can go ahead and measure the distance between the drains. I'm going to use half inch tubing to go between these. It'd be nice to have some PEX cutters or something with a larger jaw, but I don't. So I'm just using these tin snips. I always go back and trim any extras, but this is going to be on the outside of the fittings. So there shouldn't be anything that's going to interfere or fall into the water. So now that I've cut my three pieces, I'm going to go ahead and use some soap and water and clean the inside of these. I'll shove a paper towel through as well, just to make sure I got all the pieces out. So now that I got my half inch tubing cut, I'll go ahead and install it. Just going to straighten it a bit. And like before, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on there for lubrication. Before I put the final one on, I want to put this T in the center and that's going to run more half inch line over to my reservoir. So I'm just going to make a mark and cut it. So now I've got all the drains connected together and this will just be one big reservoir of six four gallon buckets.
Of the two buckets that aren't growing anything, one's going to house the pump and the other one's going to be the fill bucket where I add nutrients when I need to. I've located my pump in the center of the bucket and that aligns with the center hole that I've drilled in the top. I also not made a notch to allow the electrical cord to come out the top as well. So I can just simply slide that down over top. So here's the manifold. It's a half inch that's going to attach to the riser and then we got quarter inch distribution nipples on top. So this will just simply screw on. I've used Teflon tape once again just to make sure there's no leaks. My distribution lines are going to connect to those nipples. It's a little bit tricky because they do swivel. And there we have it. So I'll be using a three inch net pot in this build. Net pot just allows all your roots to come out and but holds your sort of root ball. And I am going to be using some medium. So I'll probably have some um, rock wool and maybe some clay pellets around because my rock wool is a little bit smaller than this uh, particular net cup. So the net pot is actually the exact same size of the circle on my lid. That's just a coincidence, but it's given me a perfect guide to cut the hole. Now, if I was going to cut a lot of these or wanted to uh, spend a little more money, I would buy a, a hole saw that is the size of the cup minus the rim because we want the rim to stick on the outside. But uh, I don't have the right size hole saw, so all I'm going to do is just make a couple pilot holes and then use my hand saw, which is basically a metal blade of a reciprocating saw on this little handle. I'm just doing it on top of one of my buckets and I'll clean the bucket out before I use it because it's going to get a bunch of plastic filings in there. Just to clean it up a bit, I'm just going to take some sandpaper, give it a quick cleaning, just to loosen off any little pieces of plastic that might in the future fall off and contaminate all the grow nutrients in the water system. Because they'll definitely clog up the misters and the quarter inch piping if there's a buildup. There. So that's nice and clean. I'll just give it a quick wash. So then my net cup just sits on the top like that. So I've added about 18 gallons of just pure water to the lower reservoir. That's about three gallons in each bucket. I've been monitoring for leaks for about an hour and a half now, and I don't seem to have any. So I'm going ahead and I'm starting the misters and we'll see what happens. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of water that the misters are spraying out. They're fine streams of water, which is perfect for aeroponics. These misters may not atomize the water droplets, but the droplets will be small enough that they should cling to the roots, allowing plenty of time for them to be absorbed by the root system. Now you can see the draining of the water back down into the lower reservoir through the small quarter inch hole at the bottom of the bucket. My initial plan is to run the misters for 30 seconds every four minutes. I'll monitor how that works and I can adjust as I go. So here's the sprayers going on inside the net cups. You can see they're dousing the bottom of the net cup nicely getting about halfway up the cup, so that'll give good water to the uh, medium and root area inside the cup, and then there's a lot of water hitting just below the net cups themselves, which will land directly on the roots. 